here on the Knife Steel Nerds website. Laren just wrote a new article about the S45N, and I just want to give you guys a nitty gritty. You know, in the previous video, I had linked to this article. We're just going to blast through this real quick and give you guys the nuts and bolts, everything you need to know as quickly as possible about the new steel S45N. Get asked a lot of questions about it. People are like, well, there's nothing that significant about it. And if you're just crunching the differences between the chemistry here of like, you know, you got just a little bit more carbon, two more points of the chromium, and we have nitrogen at the end. We don't have any nitrogen in s 35 n then you're going to be a little disappointed if you just look at it like that and you're seeing, okay, well, it doesn't have like 5 billion more percent vanadium and things like that. You know, let's be realistic. I know you guys are really geeked out on the steel and stuff like that, and you guys are really excited about it. Uh, if they made s 145 and you guys would think that would be a huge upgrade, okay? But realistically, end users are not very good at sharpening or using their knives, and so they wouldn't be able to appreciate it either. That would be a horrible knife steel for a wider audience. What S45VN offers you, in a nutshell, is because we've changed up the chemistry a little bit, it allows us to form more of the structures we want. We're now able to get a finer microstructure, finer carbide structure, okay? We're able to get more of the harder carbides we want. People look at this and they see, like, okay, I got 3% vanadium. That means I get 3% vanadium carbide. It does not work like that at all. That's not how this works. Carbon you see over here, 1.48. That's your building blocks for the steel. Okay, it mingles with all the other metallic elements inside here, like the chromium, molybdenum, vanadium, niobium, things like that. Nitrogen over here is also an interstitial uh, component, just like the carbon. It helps build nitrides instead of carbides. And so the idea with them mixing up this chemistry allows us, as knife makers and people that heat treat, allows us to take more advantage of originally what S35VN had to offer, which was this niobium content which we couldn't really get after because of how it was set up with how we were taking the carbon and putting it in solution and we didn't have the extra boost of the nitrogen to help us out either. So if you scroll down here in Laren's article, you could see a lot of good information here. If you have more questions, it's all here. You, you guys have never had this much information before access to that you could just read. You know, at the same time, people don't read. So please read, read this stuff. So the idea with the S45N is that you can run it at 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit when you're austenizing it. And you can see we have 17% carbide volume. Now this 17% carbide volume, but it's divvied up between chromium carbide and a vanadium rich carbide. And so the idea here with S45VN is that the ratio between chromium carbide and the vanadium carbide we'll have a little bit more vanadium carbide than we usually have in these types of stainless steels. Now, I'm speaking in generalities, okay? And the reason why I'm speaking in generalities is because it's not just a chromium carbide that we're talking about. It's an M7C3 carbide, which means that that chromium carbide is enhanced with a vanadium inside there as well, because some of that vanadium will go in the solution with the M7C3. As well as the fact when I'm saying vanadium carbide, I'm really meaning like an MC type carbide, because we also have some niobium that's also making a similar structure in there. So it's mixed in. You have a mix of vanadium and niobium type carbide. And it's not just carbide either. That nitrogen I talked about is actually locked up with the niobium and it's locked up with the vanadium. So really it's an MX type carbide or it's a uh, niobium vanadium carbonitride. So that's at the finer detail. I just have to say that because there's some people out there that might bust my balls about the, uh, you know, the, the little tiny details here. The problem why I'm not mentioning that is because fucking overwhelm people and they don't understand any of that shit. So what I'm basically saying is that you have in all of these types of steels, S35VN, uh, S110V, it doesn't matter. They're mostly going to be very chromium carbide rich. Uh, usually you don't have as much of that vanadium carbide made. But what's cool about S45VN is because of how the chemistry is set up, we're able to get a much better ratio of chromium and vanadium carbide in favor of having more of the harder, finer vanadium carbides that we like. So look at the microstructure here. It's pretty fine. Those little white dots there, those clusters are carbides right there. S30V, even at the same austenizing temperature. Look at that. Finer carbide in S45VN. S35VN over here, okay, much bigger carbide. LMAX, everybody loves LMAX, third gen powder. Oh, LMAX is supposed to be super fine structured. Look at that shit. 
much finer on the S45 VA if we scroll back up here. So, yeah, we'll scroll back up here to S45 VA. Much finer structured. It's 17% carbide volume, but like I said, that's the total volume of carbide. When we're talking about the carbide volume also, because people will look at it, well, it's only got 3%. It's only got 3% vanadium. It's only got a half percent of that. That doesn't tell you how much volume is inside the matrix right there, because that tells you how much weight alloy chemistry is in there. The carbides are formed as a mix of carbon and vanadium, you know, carbon, chromium. Uh, you can have nitrogen, vanadium, nitrogen, chromium, etc. Okay, so those are all building blocks. And when you heat treat it, if you were to take a point counting system right here and add up what percentage of that matrix is the steel or iron, and then what percentage of that matrix is actual carbide clusters inside there, that's what we mean by carbide volume. So 17% of that matrix, if you add it all up with a point counting system, would be this carbide. Okay, and the reason why, yes, that's less carbide than you have in something like, yeah, S30V, a little less than the LMAX, but it has a higher ratio of the harder carbides, the more effective carbides, the MC type, rather than the M7C3 type. So that's what makes this steel so exciting. We get the harder carbides that we want, reduced carbide volume will make something a little bit more durable and tougher, and we have a finer microstructure to it as well. So that is why the S45VN is exciting, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you get this S45VN and it's fucking doo-doo soft at 56RC uh, from some production company that's just fucking bombing it out, not giving it a cryo or giving it the heat treat it needs, that it's going to make up for it because it's called S45VN. Heat treat matters. All this shit matters, okay? But I'm saying that it's exciting for guys like me and other custom knife makers that know what the fuck they're doing uh, to get their hands on a material like this because it looks like we can do some interesting things with it. So that is why I'm excited about S45VN. That is why I think that it will be a nice little upgrade, a nice little niche over the S35VN. It's not going to outcut Maxima. It's not going to outcut Rex 121. This shit is like fucking obvious, but... You always have to say that, you know, there's always one person in the comment section that'll be like, we'll, we'll cut, we'll outcut S120. No, <laughs> but it'll offer some advantages over that material and that it'll be a little easier to sharpen, probably a little more uh, stable at the edge, you know, maybe a little tougher, maybe a little more durable, will be as tough as fucking 3V or whatnot, no. So yeah, that's my take on the S45VN. Ordered a bar of it. I look forward to playing around with it and seeing what I see. Yeah, we'll chop a nail with it. We'll see what we can do with it, you know. So, should be good stuff. We'll check it out.